Good morning, students. Our topic today is still related to a tree diagram. And today I'm going to show you how a tree diagram is used to analyze possessive noun phrases or uh, abbreviated NP pause. NP pause, as we learned before, belongs to a determiner. So as I told you also earlier that determiner has five types or has five kinds of structure. And one of them is NP pause. And you also know that NP here stands for noun phrase and pause here stands for possession. But when we combine NP pause, we can read it possessive noun phrase. Now let's see the first example. The boy's teacher. The boy's teacher is a phrase that contains possessive noun phrase. Now, because uh, the object of analysis is a phrase or particularly noun phrase, so the head here is NP. So noun phrase, and then the noun phrase here is branched into two because there are only two constituents that construct the NP voice teacher. So the structure is determiner plus noun. So we have here determiner and then noun. And this is how we are going to apply the structure of NP pos. So determiner here is composed of letter NP pos, but before you put or before you draw the branches for the determiner, we have to show um, the core of the noun phrase. What's the core of the noun phrase here is the teacher. So whenever you analyze determiner that contains NP pause, you have to draw the first line or the first branch for the core of the noun phrase of the core of the NP. So here, determiner plus noun, and then we draw the branch for the constituent of the noun here, that is teacher. So teacher in this NP acts or serves as the core. And then we divide the determiner. So the determiner here is composed of NP pos is composed of NP pos. And now, because we still have here the NP, we also need to divide the NP into the branches. And the NP here is composed of determiner and now. Okay, so we have here another determiner, but remember not all determiners are composed of NP pos. Now let's see, what is the constituent of the det determiner in this structure? So we have here article, okay? We have here article, which is represented by definite article the, by definite article the. So now we put all the elements of the phrase. So we have here the boy's teacher. And you see that pause here, is represented by apostrophe S, okay? Apostrophe S in English is used to indicate possession. And that is what we are using in analyzing the determiners that contain NP pause by using a tree diagram. So this is the diagram for the boy's teacher, okay? This is very simple because we focus only on the NP or on the phrase that contains NP pause. Now, we are going to see how the structure of NP pause is used in a sentence, okay? The structure of NP pause in the first example is used in a phrase, and now let's see how it is used in a sentence. So we have here a sentence, my father's, uh, sorry, Amir's father's sister's car is new. So we have a more complicated sentence. Okay, now, um, there are three kinds of NP pause 
in this sentence. We have here Amirs and then fathers and then sisters. And all of them are represented by apostrophe plus S. Now, as usual, a sentence is composed of NP plus VP. So we have here NP plus VP. And then we focus first on the NP. So the NP in this sentence contains or is composed of determina and noun. And as I told you before, whenever you want to analyze the structure of NP pause, you have to determine, you have to determine. Once again, you have to determine the core of the phrase. And here, the core of the phrase is car. Now, we have labeled the, the uh, constituent of uh, the NP, the main constituent of the NP that is car. And then, then we see okay, how determiner okay, is analyzed in this noun phrase. So we have here NP pause. And then you also know that pause here must be represented by label apostrophe S. Now, we draw here the branches for the NP. So the NP contains, once again, determiner plus noun. Remember, when you analyze a sentence by using a diagram, when the label is still determina, you cannot stop the analysis. It means that determina has to be branched. Determina has to be broken down into smaller elements. And you see here that determina, again, is composed of NP pos. Okay? NP pos. And then the NP also needs to be broken down. And we also have here determiner plus noun. Okay, as you see, that the determiner also needs to be broken down. So determiner here is composed of the other NP pos. Okay, you see that. The structure of NP pos in this example is more complicated than the one we have in the first example. Okay, now we branch the NP. We broke, we break down the uh, the noun phase of the NP. Now the NP is composed of only noun. And whenever uh, the result is noun, you don't need to break it down into a smaller unit or into smaller elements. Now, we finish analyzing the NP that contains a number of NP POS structures. Now, let's see uh, that the NP, okay? The NP is represented by the phrase, armies, fathers, sisters, car. We can conclude that we have more elements of the NP. We have more kinds or more numbers of NP post structures. As you see here, we have three numbers of NP post structures. Okay. Now, um, how about the uh, constituents of uh, the VP? And you see, this is very easy because we have learned this many times before. So. Uh, the VP is composed of VL or linking verb because it, presented, it is represented by uh, to be is, and then we have here adjective. So the structure of the VP here is VL plus adjective. Okay, you see that it looks very complicated, but if you know that determina, whenever you write determina in the branch, that determiner needs to, bro to be broken down into smaller unit. Don't stop the analysis when you still have determiner. You must break it down into smaller elements, okay? Now, we have here the other more complicated structures of NP pause. As you see here, we have a sentence. I like the man's 
little sister's cousin's new bag. Okay, we have here a sentence, I like the man's little sister's cousin's new bag. You see here, in this sentence, we also have adjective as one of the constituents or one of, uh, one of the elements of the noun phrase. In the previous examples, we don't have any adjective in the members or in the constituents or in the elements of the noun phrase, but we have adjective in this context or in this example. Now, okay, you see, I like the man's little sister's cousin's new bag. You see here that the noun phrase does not uh, is not composed of only determinate plus noun, but there is another element that also constitute the noun phrase. What is it? The adjective. Okay, you just insert the adjective here, and it is represented by the word new. So we have three branches for the noun phrase. In the first example, we have only two branches for the noun phrase, but we have here three branches. Is it possible? Yes. We have learned the uh, first structure of NP in the previous meetings, and one of which is determina, adjective, plus noun. Okay. Now, we focus here on the uh, main constituent of the NP or the core of the NP that is back, okay? And all of these, the man's little sister's cousins knew they are the pre-modifiers of back. Why I call pre-modifiers? Because those modifiers are located before the core, before the word back, okay? You see here that the other NP as the constituent of determina is also composed of determina adjective noun. So it is always possible to use the other uh, PS rules of the NPs, even though we are focusing our analysis on determiners that contain NP pos. So it is always possible that NP can be composed of determiner adjective noun or determiner adjective adjective noun and so on. Okay, so the focus here is you have to decide the core of the NP. Once you are able to find out or to identify the core of the NP, your work becomes easier, okay? Even though here, the NP in this sentence serves as the object, which is different from the previous one when, when it, uh, it was used as the subject of the sentence, but here, okay, the NP is uh, the element of the VP or it serves as the object, but the way you analyze the NP post is just similar with the one you have uh, in the previous example, okay? So you can see that it is not very difficult to analyze a sentence that contains a number of NP post structures, okay? And, um, the factor that makes this sentence more complicated is that the NP does not uh, constitute or is not only composed of the uh, determinant plus noun, but we add here the other constituent that is adjective. Okay. Now, um, maybe you have heard the term possession, but it is combined with the other uh, word class. And here you are. Um, okay. Um, before coming to talk about other kinds of uh, uh, possession in English, we have, um, you know, a bit different sentence from the previous example why we add here the PP, okay? We complete the sentence with PP. 
And you see, even though it looks much more complicated than the previous examples, but the way you analyze is still based on the PS rules. Okay, even though we add here PP, and you know that the PP here is composed of PEP and P, just usual, just, uh, you know, uh, just like what we have uh, analyzed in the previous meetings. Okay, here you are. We are comparing possessive noun phrase with possessive pronoun. This is what I told you before, the other class of possession that is possessive pronoun, and it is uh, symbolized by pro as possessive pronoun. Possessive pronoun analysis is very simple. Why? Because the determiner here is not composed of entry pass, but the determiner here is only composed of pro s, just like pro p. Okay, it is very simple. So once you draw here possessive pronoun um, that is pro s, and then you only need to label okay the word that is uh, that constitute the possessive pronoun. So we have here my office. And you see the analysis is very simple. This is very different when you analyze possessive noun phrase. Okay, just like in this example, my father's office. In this phrase, we also include possessive pronoun in our analysis. So you can see here that the, the NP is composed of determiner plus noun. And I told you uh, before that you need to immediately label the constituent of the noun that is office. And then we have here determiner that is composed of NP plus possession that is symbolized by apostrophe as. And then we have here NP that is also composed of the other structure of determiner plus noun. But the determiner here is not constituted is not constituted by the uh, 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 by the NP post by it is composed of the term uh, pro s only or possessive pronoun. Okay, and that is easier than NP post. So we have here my father's office. We have my as the uh, uh, possessive pronoun, and we have father's as the possessive noun phrase. Okay. Students, that's all, okay? Uh, the introduction to the analysis of possessive noun phrases by using a tree type. It looks complicated, but once you know the structure of, uh, or the PS rules of the uh, possessive noun phrase, everything becomes easier. The analysis becomes easier. Okay, in the next meeting, I'm going to show you Okay, um, the uh, problem of transformation, okay, transformation in a sentence by using a three type. And this is actually the hardest or the most difficult analysis by using a three type. But once again, nothing is difficult whenever it has been known. Everything is difficult when it is unknown. Keep that word. Okay, that's all and see you in the next meeting.